I've, I'm up on my first day in Philadelphia, my first full day in Philadelphia, woohoo! Just had my breakfast, I got my hot teas, take to me, to my with me, to my training. Um, and the pool is completely deserted, I don't know what time it opens. Did not sleep well last night, the bed was super, super uncomfortable, super hard. Um, all my stuff strewn about everywhere. Now, what I'm wondering is, okay, so this is the bed I put all my stuff on. I think it feels softer. It's really weird. And this one, see, it doesn't squish as much, right? But look at this. Look at the pillows, okay? There's a soft pillow. And there's a firm pillow. So I'm thinking maybe there's a soft bed and a firm bed. They're just not labeled. So tonight, I'm going to sleep on this one. So hopefully, I won't turn over every hour and wake up. Like, I have issues when I sleep anyway because I'm in pain all the time. Like, my sides hurt a lot. And I know it could be because I'm overweight or whatever, but it's as far back as I can remember. I've I've had this pain. Like I could never lay on my stomach when I was a teenager because it hurt so bad. My ribs would hurt so much. Um, I can't really sleep on my back very well. I don't know why. It's just a thing. So I usually have to sleep on my side and my sides end up hurting and so I have to flip over. And I was flipping over every hour on this bed. So hopefully the other bed is a lot softer because otherwise it's gonna be a long week all right um let's see i have to leave about eight takes it's gonna take about 16 minutes to walk there so it's 7 30 now so i've got time to pack my stuff into one bag so i don't have to carry one bag with me and just doodle around all right guys I will catch you later. Bye. I have to wait in line. Alright, so apparently our training is across from the Liberty Bell, guys. So we're going to go see that tomorrow morning before all the tourists get there. This is awesome. We're out for lunch. Guys, here's my lunch. My first authentic. Philadelphia cheesesteak. No peppers and onions because I can't stand onions grilled. So, looks good. And it's crazy in there. Like, there are more people in there than are in my hometown, I swear. It's, it's crazy. So, here's the good eats. Yeah. Uh, better get it right. Yeah. Kidding. It's like, uh, get it together. Right. Hey guys, so I just got. I didn't just get finished. I've been home for about an hour from my training. I went down to check out the pool. Um, it's a little too crowded for my taste. A bunch of kids playing around in it. Let's see if you can see them down there. Um, I believe I'm probably in a different hotel than the, the um, a guy I'm, that is in my training class. He's like, oh yeah, there's an outdoor pool. And then there's an indoor pool next to the fitness center with a jacuzzi. I'm like, there is a fitness center right next to the pool, but there's no inside pool. So, yeah, I think he's probably at a different hotel. So, instead of going for a swim, I am going to just go find some dinner, I guess. I'm getting a little hungry. I ate at one. I'm wearing my skirt because it is ridiculously hot here. I am basically melting. Um, I had a Philly cheesesteak for lunch. It was horrible. It was the worst, driest thing ever. Apparently we went to a tourist trap. Um, it was close to Liberty Bell. So yeah, I could see that being a tourist trap. But I didn't want to walk very far. I, I had to stay with my elevator buddy. But two of the other guys went to, like, down the street to this vendor. 
was cheaper, it was better, it was probably bigger, it sounds delicious. So I'm going to try that tomorrow, I think. I'll give it another shot. But based on my meal today, it would be no, I would never eat another one again. But, oh, give it another shot. And these windows, no, they've been clean in quite some time. They are filthy. As you can see, some of the smudges. There's another thing that I noticed, which is really... It's really kind of bizarre. I don't know how to say it. I don't mean to be rude or mean or anything, but you know, I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm from a tiny town. I consider it tiny. My husband says it's too big, but I, I, I came into the city. I came up off of the train, like the train station, and it's got this bad smell about it. I don't know how to describe it. It's got this weird lingering kind of scent and then you know once you pass every time you pass an alley you get that rotten garbage stink or that rotten milk stink and it's it's a little overwhelming look how tall i'm pretty sure it's an apartment building look how tall that is it's crazy tall so it's really weird because columbus doesn't have its own unique smell you know i've been that's a big city i've been there plenty of times but i think this city dwarfs that. I don't know if it's accurate, but it feels like Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is much bigger than Columbus, Ohio, even though it is our state capital. It's it's really kind of weird. Um, I got a blister. I got a little blister on my toe today from walking in my good shoes, so I'm walking in my flip-flops tomorrow. I don't care. If they say anything, I'm going to take my regular shoes. It's going to be uncomfortable because of my blister. Maybe I can get a band-aid from the concierge or something. But um, tonight, I don't think I can afford IHOP because, like, almost half of my money is gone. I got here with 80 bucks. Two days, right? I'm down to 50. I bought dinner last night and lunch today. Um, thankfully, they provide breakfast. Otherwise, I'd probably I'd be even broker. Because I gotta have me some breakfast. Um, so tomorrow I'm probably just gonna load up on breakfast like a super tremendous eat till I'm gonna explode amount of breakfast. And then get the cheaper lunch, of course. And then I'm gonna try to find a $10 or less dinner tonight. I think I could at IHOP if I didn't leave a tip, but I don't wanna be the asshole that walks in and doesn't. You know, just goes, walks out and doesn't leave a tip. My husband always says, if you can't afford a tip, you can't afford the restaurant. I'm like, well, poo on you, sir. So anyway, that is my little update. I'm going to find some dinner, and then I'm just going to chill in my room probably. Yay. I did some filming today while I was walking around. Tomorrow morning, we are going to go see the Liberty Bell. That should be exciting, assuming there's... Um, video recording aloud. So, alright guys, this is me signing off for day two in Philadelphia. Hang in there, it'll get better. Bye-bye.